Hello and welcome to our fourth lesson in digital painting. The lesson that we're going to be covering today is going to be a few more of the tools that you can use inside of PhotoP. So I'm going to go ahead and start a new project. So file new is also the same thing and you can also do the presets just like we did before. Presets are perfectly fine and it looks like I need to actually redo my presets. Hang on one sec. Okay, so your presets are perfectly fine. You can still use those. That's not a problem. Go ahead and hit create. And we have a fresh blank canvas yet again. Okay, so some of the tools that I want to show you. One of them is the fill bucket tool and the gradient tool. So the fill bucket tool or the paint bucket tool, it is accessible by this little box that goes from a white box down to a transparent box or a black box. That is called the gradient tool. And right below that, if you hold down, it's also got the paint bucket tool. The paint bucket tool will fill in one color across the entire layer or inside of a shape that you have selected. So right now I have my first color as red. I can change that around to yellow and fill that in and now it's all yellow. That is the paint bucket tool. Very good for filling in a big area all at once. If you want to have a transition from one color to another color, that's what the gradient tool is. So if I go ahead and select that, you can see up the top we have a little box that goes from a yellow to a red. And how this works is if you hold down on your canvas and drag, then you can see that you start off with a square right where you first clicked. That square is going to be your first color or from this square that I'm circling is going to be yellow. From that point over to wherever I lift up, is going to be a transition between my first and second color. The second square being my second color. So if I pick up right here, it's going to go from yellow to red and everything in between is going to be orange. So from this point back is yellow, from this point forward is red. And I can make that as small as I want or as big as I want, depending on how much of a gradient you need. Now this makes a straight line. This can also make other colors as well. So for instance, if you want a line, it's called, it's called linear. If you want a circle, it's called radial. So from here, a circle going outward, going from yellow to my second color red, there we have a nice sun effect. You have other different options that you have as well and even a diamond kind of starburst looking thing. So those are really neat. You can also not even have your second color. You can just have it be fading from your first color to a transparency. So let's say that I start a new layer and I want my star to now be blue. I can select blue right here, go there and boom. Now I can make a little triangle star effect. Next, I'm going to be showing you the text tool. So how do you put words on there? Well, this is the type tool, the text tool, however you would like to say that. It looks like a letter T. If you select that and click off over here somewhere, it will automatically create a new layer for you. And the default text size is going to be 24. And you can change that to whatever size you want. So this is going to be a test text. If you want to change the color of this, you're going to need to select what you want to change the color on. And then the color is right up here underneath the window tab. So if you select that, you can see that right now it is set to black. You can change this color to any color you want. So let's say green and hit OK. And now we have green text. You can also change the size on this. And I'm just going to change part of it. So I'm going to change test drop this size down right here. I can change that to whatever size I want. Now it will only go up to 150, uh, 150 size, but you can change this. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Next, let's say that you want this to be a different font. You can change that by going right up here to the Deja Vu Sans. This is the default font or text for uh, PhotoP. 
you can change this to anything you want. And if you give it a second, it will give you a preview of the text as well. So there's lots of different text for you to pick from, and all these are completely free. You don't have to pay for any of them. And if th these are just really nice in case you want to add some nice variation to your text. So, like that. Okay, I mentioned that you could get the text larger than 150. How you do that is you select it with the selection tool or the move tool, and you can see that we now have a border around it or a transform control. The same thing with the images that we did last time. You can click and hold shift and drag and make this text as big or as small as you want, and it will actually affect the text size itself. So once you have it placed, you hit enter, and you are good, it is set in there. You can go back to the text tool and you can see now the text is 301. So you actually bypass the 150 limit. You can make this as big as you want it. Okay, something else that I would like to show you that is really helpful and beneficial, you can change settings inside of each one of these layers. Like for instance, let's say this text layer. I want to add a stroke around it, or in other words, I want to add a black line around it. All you have to do is go over here to the right hand side and double click. When you double click on this, you're going to come up with a layer styles window. This window will let you do all these neat little effects that you can then just check, toggle on and off, whatever you would like. There's a lot of different things in here and the best way that you can learn how to do this honestly is just to goof around with it and see what you can come up with. There's, there's not a right or wrong way to do something. Just goof around with these settings, see what you can come up with, see what you like, they're there. They're there for you to look at. So a stroke, a drop shadow, you can have a shadow behind it, manipulate these settings, see what you like, things like that. It's really neat stuff. Now before I tell you what your lesson is, I want to show you how to manipulate layers by duplicating them. It's very easy to duplicate layers. If you right click on a layer and you go down to duplicate layer, it will make a copy of that layer and then you can just move that layer around anywhere you want. You can also do that with multiple layers or you can even just drag and drop these down to the create new layers tab and that will do exactly the same thing. Now you have lots of different layers that of the text that we had before. Change this around any way that you want. You have lots of different stuff you can do with that. Okay, so what is your assignment for today? Your assignment for today is to use these tools that I have shown you. Try to use the gradient tool, try to use the text tool, and I want you to go into the layer settings and try to affect some settings on some of your layers as well. Now, I don't really care what you do with it. You could just be goofing off with it. This is a one day lesson. So try and get this done fairly quickly. Come up with stuff. I want to see what you can come up with. Whenever you get done, make sure you go to File, Save as PSD, and attach it to the assignment in the Google Classroom. Thank you all very much. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Have a great rest of your day, guys.